welcome. I'm going to be playing with some different textured build plates that will leave imprints of this texture into the first layer of your prints. I've got a variety of different kinds here. Some of them are easier to see than others with the, the light here. I got a couple of different sizes because I have a variety of printers in different sizes that I'm going to be using them on. Um, I've seen other people use these. It's pretty amazing that you can get these color patterns just from the texture and the way that the light reflects off of it in your actual prints. I thought that would be kind of fun to do, so I'm going to try it. Uh, some of the things that I've seen, and I'll, I'll check on when we, when I do these tests, is that there's issues with filament sticking to it very well. Just for good measure, I may try using an adhesive and see if the adhesive affects uh, that imprint that you would get. So. Here's the different patterns. Uh, there's quite a few. I only have uh, like four different ones. I don't remember what exactly they're all called. They label them kind of like a, this might be, I don't remember, this might be PEO. But that isn't necessarily the material it's made of. They're just using different letters to basically determine what, what pattern it is. I can't tell you for sure what surface this is. I think many people will tell you it's PP, but um, they will label it as PEO, PEY, etc., etc., for each of these different patterns. Just to test this, I'm going to print my 3DM boxes. Uh, I normally print them with this part down and this part down, as you can see the texture in there, but I'm actually going to flip the lid so that it's printing on this side so that there will be a textured colored design on the top and the bottom. That's something to keep in mind if you want to do something like this. It's only going to happen to whatever flat surface that you have, so you'll have to be kind of selective and, and creative in how you utilize that to get those cool colors. And since I'm not going to show it just for brevity, uh, always wash your new plates with a little bit of warm water and soap, and then after you've wiped that all down, then use, I use 99% isopropyl alcohol just to make sure that it's completely clean before doing any printing. Okay, here are the first two. It looks decent. It may have peeled a little bit on the corners. The main thing is, overall it works. It just doesn't stick all that well to the build plate. There you can see a little better in the lighting how it's peeled up from the corners. So I'm going to see if applying some adhesive will help it stick without uh, preventing it from getting that pattern in there. As far as these surfaces go, I expected them to be a little bit more textured, like this one. has pretty good texture, you can feel it. But these other two are more 
smooth. It is similar in feel to glass. So maybe your standard glue stick would work okay. I don't know. I would rather use an adhesive that is meant for uh, securing to build plates. I don't know if this is going to work well or not for this, but I do know I've tried this hyperlock uh, on the PEI sheets. I had a, an old PEI sheet that had been pretty worn and even after refreshing it, it still didn't stick very well when I was printing ABS. And I put this on there and it has worked great ever since and I've only put one uh, layer of it on there. Haven't had to do anything to it since. But I don't know if that's going to work that well on this and or for PLA. that dry for 30 minutes before we heat that up and try another print with that. What I want to see is if it will, one, if it will stick better, which it should, but most importantly, whether or not that extra layer is enough to hinder that pattern from coming through in the print. Okay, these are after having used the adhesive Seems to have worked a little bit better. Still came up a little in the corners. Not horrible, but it could be better. But you can use the adhesives on there and it won't completely cover up the pattern. Well, it's kind of a staticky. You can see the adhesive streaks, but it does still work. And this one looks like it actually stayed down better. This is still stuck. But the pattern's in there just fine. Should try and see if I can alcohol this off. But you can see on the build plate itself, the streaks of the adhesive. Still works just fine. It would be great if it would stick better to the if it would stick better to the build plate as it is, but definitely need at least some adhesive on there to keep it from warping off. But all in all, these build plates work and they make some pretty cool patterns. If you're interested in finding some of these, if you just do a search for PEO or PEY, you'll come up with a bunch of these. They have different letters for the different patterns. I'm not entirely sure which were which, but that will get you started if that's what you're looking for. Something kind of fun, but again, just keep in mind that it's only going to be that cool on the surface that is on the build plate when you print it. So something like a case or things that are just flat or two-sided that maybe get glued together. Just going to get some alcohol here and see if that streakiness will wipe off or not. Eh. It kind of comes off. It mostly comes off. But it's not an issue on there. So like this one that has the adhesive on it, like it's not sticky or anything at, at all. I can't really even tell the streaks in this one. Seems like there'd be fairly limited things you can do with them per se, but that's up to your imagination. Okay, so I tried a few different colors just to see, you know, different colors of filament. Still worked pretty well. Uh, did some purple. This uh, polygon one works the best on any color to show what kind of design it is. I tried some multicolored filament, so this is like a tricolor filament. You can still see it, but there's already so much going on with the multiple colors that it's harder to see. Again, the polygons are easiest to see. I tried it with um, the others and I just couldn't really 
see. So I decided not so great for maybe the multicolored filaments. Um, did some of the colored ones. This black one looks really good when you have it just in the right light. I also did clear just to make sure that you would still get that color in the clear and you do. I did notice some issues though, mostly with those that are more shallow, like this polygon one is, is kind of nice and deep. You can still fill it even in, in the print. Um, but the others are just so smooth and just so shallow that when I rubbed on it, the pattern kind of went away. So I did like this dice gel. If you get it just in the right light, you can still see a hint of the sparkles and stars. But for the most part, you pretty much can't see that anymore. Camera's not doing it justice because you can actually see it better in the camera than you can with your eye. After uh, there was a little bit of stickiness, so I was like, oh, I'll just wash off the glue. And so I kind of rubbed it decently hard with my thumb and some water to wash it off and then I pulled it out and I couldn't see it anymore but um, it is still there just very faint and it's probably because it's just so shallow that it's easy to probably wear away over time and just to give a better example of that here's what it looks like when you first come out you can see it really good right except for this top right corner see how you can't see that patch hardly as well I rubbed that with my thumb So it's harder to see. So just keep that in mind. Those that are like almost like a glass like surface, it's super smooth. It's just very, um, it's very shallow. The texture isn't very deep. So it's easier to accidentally maybe rub off or maybe even cover with fingerprints. That one's just fingerprints. You should be able to just hopefully clean that off without losing the details. So then I thought, well, what if I, after I print it, what if I just spray it with a coating uh, to keep it so that it's not going to get rubbed on or pushed or scratched or anything like that. And I thought 50-50, that might, you know, protect it, but at the same time could also cover it, which is what it did. It covered it. <laughs> so now you can't see it at all. And I don't even remember which pattern it was on this one. But it was one of the shallow ones. That this was the lines pattern. You can see it pretty good in the bottom if I get it in just the right light. But on the top, where I rubbed it a little bit, it's harder to see. It's harder to get it even to there. You can see a little bit right there. So, something to keep in mind. For me, I really like this polygon texture. You can see where I rubbed this with my thumb, so it's like a little bit different colored, but the pattern is still there just fine. So keep that in mind with whatever it is you're going to be printing and how it's going to be used and handled. These are going to be handled a lot. They're cases for dice, right? So they're going to handle a lot. They're going to be rubbing in bags and things. And so I'm not entirely sure how well those will hold up. Time will tell. Well, I hope that's been somewhat helpful to you if you're if you were interested in these but haven't made the leap to try it yet, they do work. Thank you so much for watching this video and until next time, go print some cool first layer objects. <laughs>